Joining us now to discuss in a first on CNBC interview is Equifax CEO Mark Beggar. Mark, uh, thanks so much for, for joining us. Good to see you. And uh, I guess a, a quick outline on this acquisition and uh, the follow up question being, are you done now? Because you've been on a prolific uh, spending spree. Well, thanks. And thanks for having me on. Uh, you know, our performance has really been improving over the last uh, 24 months. As, as you know, in 2017, uh, we had that cyber event that was really a significant uh, impact on the company. And it took time to really rebuild ourselves in 2018 and 19. And in that time frame, we made a decision to invest in the cloud and, and go to cloud native. So we put a billion five into our tech stack, which is a lot for a $4.8 billion um, revenue company. And that's really changed the operations uh, in the results of our company. Uh, last year, uh, we had 16% uh, revenue growth. Um, that's up, up from a historical 6 to 8%. And through the first half, we're up 26%. So that strong performance is allowing us to reinvest in the company you know, with bolt-on acquisitions. And uh, as you said, we've completed eight acquisitions so far this year of about $3 billion of acquisitions that will add $300 million of revenue to Equifax uh, plus synergies. And APRIS was the one we announced yesterday, which uh, is a really unique data set around uh, incarceration data that's used not only by state and federal agencies, but also in the hiring process, which is a big TAM, you know, where uh, background checks are done on individuals before they uh, are hired by a company. Uh, so, so lots of new stuff going on, uh, Mark, as you kind of uh, outlined for us there. What, what about in the traditional business? Uh, clearly, uh, ha housing markets rebounded very strongly. Uh, mortgage uh, applications and, and uh, rates are, are soaring. Can that continue? Well, the, the, uh, the low interest rates are, are a positive for the financial services industry, and uh, we participate in that. Um, you know, so we have a mortgage business that's performing quite well. Of course, we participate in auto lending uh, where there's underwriting done in the credit card space, personal loan space, et cetera. But we're actually much more than that now, uh, more than a credit bureau, and that's a lot of our acquisitions are really driven to diversify Equifax. Um, our largest business that we have in Equifax, which is 40% of our uh, of our business, is our income and employment business called Workforce Solutions. And that's where APRIS will plug in. And that business is really focused on supporting the hiring process and government services, the delivery of social services. For example, in the hiring process, uh, there's 75 million people per year will be hired in the United States or change jobs. And that's about a $5 billion data TAM that we participate in. And when someone's hired, they typically want to verify their past employment. And they'll also, using the APRIS data, determine if they've been incarcerated in the past so they can do their own decisioning around that uh, hiring process. And then conversely, in government services, when they're delivering social services, you have to verify someone's income. Um, and we have the data um, to do that uh, in our uh, workforce solutions business. And the same thing with incarceration. If you're incarcerated, you're not permitted to get uh, many social services. So that's the uh, data element. And the real macro that's been driving our business is our differentiated data and the power of data broadly, whether it's in decisioning or in identity or in fraud and all the different verticals that we uh, participate in. Mark, it's Morgan. I mean, you, you just said the key word, right, data? I mean, at the end of the day, you're in the business of data. So just going back to that 2017 um, hack and then the fact that now it seems like a day doesn't go by that another company doesn't get compromised in some form or fashion. You just did this most recent acquisition. How are you keeping all of that data safe? And I guess what would, what would those lessons from Equifax be to other companies right now navigating all this? Well, it's, it's a threat to all of us. You know, we, we get attacked uh, every day, like every other company, and you have to defend yourself. Um, and it's one that uh, you've got to invest heavily in it. A big part of that billion five that we put into our tech stack over the last three years, and really a doubling of our tech spend, was around security. And uh, when I joined back in April of 2018, uh, you know, about six months after the cyber event, you know, I made a commitment internally and externally that we'd be an industry leader in security, you know, and that's a high bar. And it's one that we're always focused on. You're never done in security and you're never at the finish line. The other thing I did is I made it a direct report to me. Many CISOs or chief security officers, officers were report into IT, into legal or some other functions. This is a key function, particularly when you're a data analytics company with trillions of data assets, you know, that you're managing. Uh, so it's a direct report to me. And it's one that we're investing in and you have to have it as a top priority.